I left my SD card home. Target. Get at my house if you can over here. Bitch, don't piss me off. This way all tricks. I'm not finna be around here DIY and building. Tell you how I feel. It's the reason don't why it's like me. I would change your attitude. We about to go in here and get what we need, not what we want. If you're no good for you, you're no good for anyone else. Hey y'all, what's up vlog? So today is September 28th and it is currently like, probably like two, one, two in the afternoon. And we at Walmart. But this vlog just gonna start now because I had a late morning. So yeah. I'm trying to fix it. Is that park over there? Probably like over there. Ooh, baby. Oh, there you go. So as I was saying, y'all, we about to go out to eat. I already know who I'm with. Y'all know what's going on. So we're about to go out to eat. We just left Walmart because I left my SD card home. So I bought a new one. And this one got a lot of space anyway. So yeah, that's just what's going on. It's just a random day doing random stuff because that's what we do. That's just what we do. We'll see y'all later. Don't make us I work. Are we here? Because it's so big. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all gotta see the target. <laughs> they tell me that this target is not tea. I love this target so much. <laughs> is it like y'all? These kids sit on. Y'all, what is giving? Like it's giving like. Nigga, get out my house if you can over here. I think that's what this is. I think that's what all my furniture give. I think like this what needs to be at the front door so you can watch that nigga walk out. Mm. I don't know about this flowers. Just give me flowers. <coughs> that made me smile. Oh, this is the one that had the ultimate. No, let me go find it. So. What's the? It's over here. Oh, okay. Because the stuff is over there. It should be over there. Thank you. This is some ugly good shit. I want to see if they got like them little shirts. Why do we walk this way? I don't know if it's probably just the light. And y'all, these are cute. I don't know. I like these. You do? Mm -hmm. They remind me of the ones. But they kind of big. That's why I say they're big. They 25. 
Well, I don't know. It's just like the outer part. I don't really like. Maybe if it was just like the circle stud. Then yeah. I want this, but I just want this. I don't know. What's that? Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. It's cute. It's simple. This is cute, so. This wishbone is actually cute. This dump is a You don't want to pick those up. I know. I don't know what I was thinking. I got some clear ones that I have from here. I don't know what, a, what I did. <coughs> oh, it's cute. I don't know. They giving something very much something. Yeah. That's what you were talking about. Yeah. I was talking about the material. Oh, yeah, the material is nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to feel. Okay, y'all, I see this dress right here, like, this is cute. It's giving cute classy, especially if you wear, like, something with it. I don't know, and it's an extra, extra small, so. It's giving, though, this is cute. Maybe I should try it on, but I don't know. I'm gonna just hold on to it. Look at these shorts. I wish they were longer. Like, it's no like shirt in the thing. Like, oh, they got skirts too. But there's like literally no, like nothing to go with it. It's fourteen dollars, y'all. And then they got this color. Don't have pockets or nothing. These are cute, don't get me wrong, but it's like, where's, what's the point? There's no shirt to it. I don't know what they thought this was cute as a skirt. That, the black color is okay, but this is just a bit, you know. But there's not even a shirt to go with it. Like, that's weird. They fumbled the bag. They definitely fumbled the bag. Oh! Mm. The material. I just don't like how I got like the little lining right Black, here. Yeah. Yeah, this why I don't come in Target because then I just go to picking up unnecessary stuff and it's not okay. That's not okay. What I'm looking at. I told you that they had it. These give like they're supposed to be giving like little. But I'm not paying twenty dollars for them. that's. I feel like that's unreasonable. Me personally, I'm not paying that for this. You ever seen people use that cancer? Not that I can recall. Some people clearly use it because they buying it. But me personally, I'm not even. Uh, I just stick oh, to what I know. Got smell me. Mm -hmm. What's only eight fifty? Only okay. It's such a big bottle. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Okay. No. Wait. For this one. Oh, this is the cream. But look at this. They got the face cleanser and then the face cream. But the only product you use is their body scrub. And you only use it on your hoo ha? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before and after I shave? It's here for it. I'm gonna get this. Mm -mm. I've heard about Too Faced, but I've never heard about that. You heard of Too Faced? Mm -hmm. I heard of the brand. Oh, this is Honey, bad. Kylie already has enough money in her account. I'm not getting her any richer, respectfully. Yeah, but I want to know what they got in the clear. Oh. 
It's crazy. She don't sell lip gloss. I don't know if I want this. <laughs> Any meat? No. Any meat. It's just like why. Now they got the lotion. The EOS stacked up. Now they got the EOS lotion stacked up. Right here. Y'all, I just feel as though I really need to find my target lifestyle. And I love that I'm able to. Like, are we glad we're able to find our target lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Very, very grateful. Very demure. Not the Marcus at all. It always feels classy. I feel like if I wear a lip liner, like, you see the vision with some gloves? You should start. Uh-huh. I had to buy all the makeup, but oh my goodness, makeup's so expensive. <laughs> Do what the time is like. Well. This way all treats. Or treats and candy seekers. Read it in its totality. That's Lewis. Say hi. I know what Lewis. Mm. I never got no word. Y'all, we big at my house. We big at my house, y'all. Like, I'm trying to figure out what to do for the rest of the night instead of just sitting here looking how I'm looking, y'all. I need a vacation in Miami type vibe. Yes, but that's coming soon. That's coming soon. It's coming soon. She about to open her stuff. Okay, y'all open a package for you. We got to see how it look in person. She already know what it is, but we got to see, like, how it really looks. Mm -hmm. Press this, honey. I need my stomach to be this way. Please, okay? <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, tweezers. Yeah, look what it's saying. Stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Skin. Yeah, now, this girl's are damn extra. Yeah, because I said, yeah, this one, she's definitely going to be like, I need to use this right away. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, my life is we got definitely we got i would say this is my most important relationship because if you can't have a relationship with god like i feel like your other relationships are just not going to be like stable mm -hmm. or they're going to be without substance point blank period like if you can't be in a relationship with god like communion with god whatever covenant with him then you really can't love another person properly or care for another person properly Point blank period. I don't care how nobody feel. I agree. And when you build that type of relationship with God, God will show you or will give you that discernment that you need because he's going to start revealing and showing to you that these people is not for you. Mm -hmm. Or who really is for you. Right. Me. As long as you're in a relationship with me, with God... Yeah, I feel I'm gonna like just start revealing. God gotta everything. be at the forefront of all your relationships. Point blank, period. Like, I agree. Yeah. What was your childhood like, and how is your relationship? I'm gonna just say, answer the first question. Yeah, don't even finish that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna finish. So, my childhood, it wasn't bad, but I feel like it could have been better. I just feel like, even though my mom had a lot of kids, I just feel like. Yeah, it just could have been better. And I'm going to just leave it at that. What you say? My childhood, 
it was definitely like <laughs> it was a character building exercise just to put it in like short concise straightforward it was definitely a character building exercise like it was definitely make or break you it was definitely you gonna be the victim or you just gonna come out on top like you gonna let it you gonna let it help you or you gonna let it hurt you point blank period so yeah but i'm grateful for whatever because it turned out fine no it what does it mean to be a, what does it mean to be a good friend to you what does it mean to be a good friend to me being hi tt to me being a good friend to me personally i feel as though that's like you know you not materialistic you know somebody who you can really come to somebody you can really mm -hmm. lean on thank you tt you should say you definitely a good friend i appreciate that somebody you could lean on somebody you know who's not just gonna be there you know like them party friends or them crowd friends that you have but someone who you can build with you know you know grow with and just do certain things with that you can commune with in a way as if you were communing like if you were communion with god like if that makes sense in a way mm -hmm. like somebody who you really can find strength in and just support when you need it so to elaborate on that to me i feel like a good friend is somebody who you don't get mad at when they correct you because i feel like a friend that can't correct you is a dangerous friend somebody who just supports your bad decisions your right good decisions somebody who enables your behavior mm -hmm. that's not a friend that's not a friend and i feel like if you consider me your friend i feel like the love should be there don't check me correct me mm -hmm. the trust should be there and hey like i'm not here to hurt your feelings but i'm here to let you know like what you did and what you said was not cool that was not it i feel like that's just my definition like somebody who can correct you and you not get offended that's very important because people that's why a lot of friendships end because <coughs> people don't know how to be friends people don't know how to take constructive high promise so right people your friend try to correct you and then that's when you want to catch an attitude you want to fall out with them you want to go spill a business you want to do this and that all because they corrected you and they didn't let you live in a way that's just not like come on now be for real like if i'm your friend i'm not gonna just let you be i just don't want anything having your way and you know just child anywho next question right do you think there is one person out there that each of us are meant to be with yeah like me i you. think so me and you, you out there, I'm out there, and we meant to be with each other. <laughs> I feel like there's always somebody in this world for somebody. Yeah. And I really, I don't like to use the word hate, because hate is a strong oh, word. Strongly dislike. But I really dislike when people feel like, how can I say it? When people always throw around like, oh, I don't, I don't, like, I don't need to be in a relationship. You know, like, I don't need this, or I don't need that. You're a woman. You need a man. And a the man same way a how a man need a woman. I don't care how much Because me man... personally, I'm not going to be around here DIY and building tables all my life. No bueno. I'm not going to be around here getting my own or you changed all my life. I'm not going to be around here taking a trash out by myself all my life. That's just me point blank period, baby. I want to live a very cutesy, demure life. A baby, it never gave the markets. So therefore, there's stuff I need a man for, honey. Point blank period. I want a two. I want a two income household, baby. I want a family. I feel like there is somebody out there for somebody and i feel like it's all trial and error oh definitely what the next man don't show you another man will and vice versa what one woman may not show you the next woman will and that goes for good and bad not just bad yes things. okay mm. what's the most unconventional thing that can attract you to somebody the most unconventional thing <sighs> hmm. um, i'd say the way that they carry themselves like physically emotionally like that type of stuff like i pick up on things like that like the way that they carry themselves spiritually mm -hmm. like definitely 
I feel like for me, a man being a man is what's gonna attract me to you. Like not you being sassy and feminine. You can't be more sassy than me, point blank period. Hello. I'm, I'm sassy. Cause both of us can't wear the panties. That's the problem for me. It it never gave that we both shop at Victoria's Secret. <laughs> hey. It it never gave that. Lonely bookie, love you. What's the most petty deal breaker that will instantly turn you off of a potential love interest? The petty deal breaker? Somebody, I don't mind. Somebody who wants to be around me all the time. A petty deal breaker for me? Like is if I tell you something and then you try to flip the script on me as if it's my fault. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Cause I, I'm the type of person that like if I tell you how I feel, it's the reason Don't why I'm like me. telling you. Don't guess like me. Like I'm not telling you just to nag. I'm not telling you just to, you know, oh start an argument. Like if I'm telling you something, if I'm telling you how I feel, that's how I feel, and I want you to move accordingly. Once I tell you how I feel, then you be like, oh well, that. We're not doing tit for tat, my love. That's not what we're about. Oh, I'm to do. sorry if it, if I if you say I made you feel that way. Right. And I'm sorry that you made me feel that way. Don't do that. Like, like, and I know like that's not petty, but that's one of the things that will really like turn me off from you. Like, you ain't gotta wor ever worry about me. And an another petty me. thing is like if you don't brush your teeth in the morning. Like, like. Hi, not even like just like because you know some people they just wake up and get their day started and it's like why are you talking to me and don't try to kiss me and brush your teeth that's nasty okay so i'm gonna ask, ask this question and then you're gonna answer it and then you're gonna answer it for me okay okay if you could change one thing about me what would it be and why i would change your attitude like like when like when people get her mad or irritated like that part because then she be on go and then that made me be like all right shit but like let's do it let's run it. That's it. Like nothing good. It's the nothing. question was said if you could change one thing about me what would it be and why? And that's what I'm saying. I would change that. You be tripping sometimes like you be crazy. I do. Yeah, I do too. But it's not about me right now. So. And then like a good thing, I don't know, cause I'm not saying she perfect, but like she good enough for me, so I don't care. <laughs> I don't, I don't see nothing to change. That's bad. That like it's like if y'all give them fair, like it's good. Okay, so for me, and sometimes she be she be doing too much. Like she be trying to give, give, give herself, and I don't like that. So I change that. Like she got know her limits and her boundaries and stick to them. I don't like that. I agree. I was you give yourself endlessly. I do the same thing, but about you. She's a good person, and one thing that I that's one thing that I would change. Not saying that don't ever stop being a good person, but be a good person to a limit. Yeah. Like it's okay to be nice, but it's not okay to be gullible. So that's one thing, and I'm not saying she's gullible. I'm just saying that we just love she, her. She yeah, she gives herself way too much, and she gonna go strong for the people that she loves. So I just feel like when people don't reciprocate that same energy, I'm ready to tussle. Yeah. So that's one thing that I would change. Like about that her. backpack, I'll be ready to tussle him up her because I don't like that. I would push that bitch in a mop closet. Oh goodness. But that that's probably one thing that I would change about her. But other than that, she's perfect for me. No facts. So the next question is. What's your approach to handling disagreements and conflicts in your relationship? Um, what is it? What's your approach to handling disagreements and conflicts in your relationship? 
My approach is to approach. My yeah, like my approach is to be straightforward <laughs> about my feelings, cause it's no need for me to beat around the bush. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Like we either gonna discuss it or you can hit it. Like point blank period. Like you're either gonna be a, an adult about it or you're just gonna sit there and be petty and gaslight me and try to be narcissistic. And if you do that, then there's nothing for us to talk about. So we're gonna face the problem head on because we're not gonna get past it unless we face it and walk through it. Point blank period. You you gotta walk through the fire to get through the fire. Like, what's the point of sugarcoating? We're gonna go face like we're we're just gonna face that. <laughs> My approach is to approach you. I'm gonna do it respectfully. And once you feel like it's the need to argue, we don't gotta talk no more. Like, I'm done. I'm, I don't argue, so I'm done. I agree. Uh, I'll, leave where you, I'll leave where you thought you was gonna argue at. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know that, you know I'm not gonna argue. Like, you know I'm gonna leave. Like, I, I don't like arguing. I agree, I agree. I don't wanna act too what are your best and worst memories from childhood? My best memories would be probably my siblings, like us going on vacations <coughs> to Orlando together, like stuff like that, like us part participating and stuff together and stuff like that, you know, like with my siblings, cause it was literally like all we had. So yeah. And then my worst memory would probably be like my brother's passing away running from bullets all my life. So my best childhood would be Hanging with my siblings. And I'm going to say my worst childhood is losing my siblings. So. Take a toll on you. Yeah. And that's that. And like I said before, it'll either help you or hurt you. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you believe in fate or do you think we have control over our own destiny? I believe in fate. Because most of the time, when, when you try to... I've seen what happens when you try to manipulate things. Mm -hmm. And when you try to manipulate things, fate is always going to take a turn. Or karma or something. So, yeah. No. <coughs> yeah. Like, if it's meant to be, it's going to be. If it's not, it's not. You can't manipulate circumstances. Like, like period. Your hey, y'all. What's up? So, it is the next day y'all and me and my best friend we just ended off on that q a for this video um and then she ended up going home and then i ended up um i did end up going to the movies but i didn't record that because that was just like something to do and yeah so now we're about to go to target y'all because we need to go get some hydrogen and stuff like it's not even funny like running low is an understatement it's not even funny um i wrote a list and left it home so boo me but yeah we're about to go that's where we're headed now um i stay in bed late so i got out of bed at like 2 p.m and now i'm leaving so i'll see y'all when we get to target Okay, y'all, we're at Target right now. I got me a good little parking spot right here in the front. Oh, yeah, we at Target. We about to go in here and get what we need, not what we want. Point blank, period. Okay. Period. Period. Per. Okay, y'all, so they got this. I want to try this. And it's for normal to oily skin, which is definitely my skin. Because my skin be so oily, y'all. Don't mind my edges. Y'all, it be so oily. Ew, this is $8. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to see. I think I'm going to grab this and try it. I've been using Panoxo, but, y'all. If it's not broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? Like, y'all see my forehead, my pimples and stuff? Like, that's not okay. That's not okay. And y'all, my camera is literally on two bars, which is like 50%. And hopefully, we can make it through because that's so crazy. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm gonna try this. I be saying people use this, but last time I came here, y'all, they had a dirty one. Like, I'm gonna cut this up. We could cut this up, though. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna grab some more oil. Before I do run out, we're gonna grab some more. This lotion, I would use this. I don't really see much like how this smell though. I'm pretty sure it's good, but I don't really like how it smells. I prefer my EOSs. I already have one of these, I don't need this. So, yeah, I'm in the Trump size. Oh, because I have to get stuff for my trip that I'm going on. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna grab a couple of. We're gonna grab two hand sanitizers. I'll grab two of these. They one nineteen. Those are the cheapest ones, y'all, because they're one ninety nine. And then those are two forty nine, which is crazy because those are actually smaller. It just comes with a little case thing, so that's crazy. But then yeah, and then we're gonna grab these are. Clorox wipes is nine in here for 99 cent. It's definitely not giving worth the price. Only for nine wipes, it's no bueno. Um, so yeah, and then so I'm not even gonna get those out of here. But yeah, they have these huggy wipes for 89 cent. The travel size ones. It's 16 in here, so I'm gonna grab two packs of these. One for work and one for the trip. And then, let me see what else I need to grab from over here. What are these Kleenex tissues? Yeah, that's tissues. This is like spray powder, but then they have these in here. I'm confusing. Seriously. And then I can grab some of these right here. It's 14 here. And then it's, and there's what? Four disposable. These only come up four for one nineteen. That's crazy business. But we gonna grab. I already have some at home, but those are for home. So maybe I should just grab this travel size one, so it's not even open. Some mouthwash, cause you know that mouth cannot be stinking. This one is four nineteen, and then Max. Okay, y'all, so next we need some painting liners. I think I'm gonna get these because these look like, forget the brand, I need the quality. And these look like kind of thick. And like, they're like, I don't know, reliable. It's 148 in those. It's $8. And I'm like looking at the other ones, those $8. And it's only 96 in there. Those were the ones that I originally used to use, but it just don't do them. But they need to do it. Then they got freaking 96 for 639. I would have just pay eight dollars for a hundred of these. Unscented odor control multi-fluid protection. Yeah, so it's given that we're gonna get these right here. Yeah, I need some more monistat, but every time I come here, it's like they don't have it in Target. Yeah, they don't have it. So I might have to stop at Walmart and go grab that because clearly Target is definitely giving. Yeah, no. And y'all cannot believe that they took these out the box and put them in a bag. I don't like this. I prefer the box. But maybe it's cheaper to produce them in this type of packaging rather than the box packaging. I don't know, but I don't like that. Completely disagree. Cannot get into it. Please change it back up. I have this one at home. I want to say I have this one at home. Body wash. Oil to gel form that intensely nourishes. How do you find that body wash? I think a lot of people talking about this one right here. I don't want to be too much in traffic. So I think I'm going to 
I'm just getting it for one that I got before. I think I'm gonna get this one. I had this one, but I had the big one. But since they don't have the big one, I'm just going to get the small one for now because. I had this one too, but I don't need too much hot pots now. Back on. Plus, 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 plus for putting this together. This smells so freaking good right here. Because I'm not paying six nine one for much when I can get two. One thing is, it's just off brand. I know. And they big ones too, so I don't even have to buy none. A good amount of time because this one is not even that big for $6.99. Right? Okay, y'all. So, if y'all can tell or not, it's like days later. It's literally Saturday at 3 a.m. But I have to show y'all what I bought from Target that y'all saw me. I think that was the last clip. I'm not sure y'all. I really don't remember. But that's what we're doing right now. I'm just about to show y'all what I got from Target. We just gonna get into it because it's already pretty late. And then I'm just gonna close out this video. So we went to Target. We had to go hygiene shopping. And it was definitely giving like, girl, you need to re-up on some stuff. Like it wasn't too much that I needed, but it was definitely like urgent needs. Like, you know, like you need to go get this. Because the girls are no empty. And I kept all this stuff just sitting until I had the chance to show y'all. I don't know why I'm talking about my hands. But that's okay. So, the first thing I'm going to show y'all are these Huggy Wipes, y'all. Bought these Huggy Wipes. Um, so, yeah, because like I said, I have to go on a trip for work. I'm going on a trip, so... I needed some wipes, so I'm going to just throw these in a bag. I meant throw these in my suitcase and then put one in my work bag because mm, the girl be working doubles. And who wants to be feeling not fresh on like 12, 16 hours on the shelf? You know what I mean? So, yeah, we got some of those. And then I had to get some more dogs and stuff. But you know, you know. And if you don't, you won't. But y'all just get into this. Like, I just like using Dove Sensitive because I feel like it does not dry my skin out. Like, it does not dry my skin out. Y'all be feeling baby soft, smooth, smelling very simple. Because, you know, it's like, it's not really a fragrance to it. So, it's just like, you could just go ahead and just pair up your fragrance. Like, you know, your lotion, your body oils, everything after you get out the shower. Like, so, yeah. Um, that's just good to have to cleanse with. So, I usually use that before I go in. With my body washes, like a scented body wash or just like a like a antibacterial body wash or soap or whatever, like I just usually use that first. Like that's just my first step. Me personally. Okay. Everybody different. Um then I bought this another method wind down body wash. Cause y'all this is wonders. Like I don't know if they put melatonin in here or what, but y'all I be sleeping peachy lovely splendid i thought you just and it smell good like it smell good so why not why not and usually i use that like 
right after I use my um Dove Sensitive, I usually use that. Um, as far as bedtime, I usually use that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if y'all want like a night routine. I think I did one, but a very detailed one. Then okay, cool. I'll try to get it set up as far as the angles and stuff and do it for y'all. But I usually do my Dove Sensitive, then this wind down body wash. Um, and then I bought another Perfector Ciliate. Salicylic acid body wash from Natrium, y'all. Smooth, softens, and renews for more even looking skin. Fragrance free. Y'all, I don't know. I'm just big on fragrance free. I am. I'm very big on fragrance free. So, yeah. We just gonna. Yeah. So, that's what I got. Um, I ended up buying this because I need another one because the other one is like gritty, like probably like right here. Because y'all yeah, be using this, it's real good. Um, like the lather is mild, just as it says on the like on the specs on the description. Um, but other than that, it's like it's re it's really nice though. Like it's not like when it say mild lather, it means mild because like you're not getting really like it's not gonna be real. Study. like it's really not that much foam to it um but it is nice to have man do have your skin feeling nice i get them man. i get them man. i ended up picking up more of this and i cannot believe the price went up y'all because i think it was like seven dollars now something like six seven dollars now but cool whatever ten four like you got that okay but i didn't need more Cause I'm about to run out but y'all if you know this smells so good and it's like nice to pair with like your vanilla scents or you know your little cocoa scents or however you want to like pair it as far as you know a scent that really pairs well with it is what I'm trying to say so yeah and like when you put on the oil like me personally like I wear it with my EOS vanilla cashmere and I literally put the lotion and then I like pour the oil over it and then like put it together and actually mix it together and then put it on my skin and y'all that scent be lasting like literally my blanket I had used it the other night and I paired it like that and y'all my blanket still smells like it and then I, I also sprayed like my nighttime perfume on and y'all it still smells like freaking vanilla okay okay so definitely get you some good oil some good lotion pair that thing together mix it together and then put it on your skin point blank period point blank period chef's kiss so then we picked up two dove body washes i used this before the gentle exfoliating one i have used this and i ran completely out like i already have it sitting like this and y'all nothing there's nothing in there there's nothing in there. I just like how it feels like when it's exfoliating. So honestly, like sometimes when I'm in the shower, I'll do the Dove Sensitive and go in with this exfoliate. And then I'll do the wind down as far as bedtime. But it really depends on the type of day I had. I'm going to be honest. Because if you know being in the shower that long is exhausting and you'll be done fainted. And especially if you take hot showers. So depending on the type of day I had, if I ate before or after I took a shower, it depends on how long I'm like in the shower, if that makes sense. But you know, I'm in the shower for like 30 minutes minimum. Minimum. Like 25, 30 minutes minimum. Um so yeah. And then I have this antibacterial care. I have not ever used Dove's antibacterial like ever if i'm being honest i don't use antibacterial antibacterial soap antibacterial soap i just use like the dove sensitive like if i'm being honest so i want to try this and see like do i have a different feel like do i see a difference like what like you know so yeah i'm gonna keep y'all updated on that because i've never tried it so we're gonna try it period and then next i bought this eco tools bath cloth and i know it's like really really big so i'm definitely gonna cut this into pieces and use it because we're gonna get more fire money period more fire money um wet 
cloth apply body wash lather and massage all over the body y'all i'm excited to use this i feel like it's really gonna get into that nitty gritty i might use this with the gentle exfoliating one or the antibacterial but it's definitely giving just use the exfoliant like it's already exfoliant then you got the exfoliation like beads in here if you know what i'm talking about like the minerals the exfoliation minerals in here so it's just like mm, hopefully it's not too tough on the skin just don't do too much just don't do too much like massage don't rub like you get what i'm saying so yeah we're gonna pair that and we're gonna see what we're gonna see what it's hitting on and i'm gonna let y'all know if i like this or not and then y'all i just got a bunch of stuff to go on this bed and then next y'all i just bought this little travel size listerine because i ran out i ran out um in my like to go bag and then i just bought these which y'all saw me pick up because like i said i'm going on a trip for work so i'm going to need those like to actually go with um because yeah and then i can just get more once i get up where i'm going um and then i bought hand sanitizers because i'm tired of spending money on bath and body works y'all even though my sister literally just bought me this besides the point but she literally just bought me this like a day or two ago so shout out uh, thank you and it's like there's like two in here and i do have more that i recently bought i think y'all saw it in the last video or the video before that it don't matter so yeah and then i did pick up this romance and desire scented small spaces air freshener because i wanted to put it in the restroom y'all and it smells it's not nice like it's not too much like it don't do too much like it's just subtle keep it cute keep it classy very demure not demarcus period <laughs> And then y'all I bought these panty liners because like literally last night y'all like the extra box because I just be having panty liners in my purses, my go bag. Like I just be having them things on my purses and everything because I'm just a girl. Like I'm just I'm just a young lady. Keep it classy, keep it cute, keep yourself together. Hygiene is important. Keep yourself fresh, okay? We, at this big age, if you know better, do better. Period so yeah so we have these right here um that i restocked on because baby them a little bit for that amount of money and be the same price we got 148 i think these was like seven dollars y'all remember i said it early in the video it's cool it's okay um so yeah i got those and i need to stock up in my purse um and then last but not least y'all i got these Target brand anti antiseptic mouthwash um, pack of two. So anti gingivitis and anti plaque blue mint flavor, y'all. And this was so cheap, like baby. Let me just tell you, mouthwash is mouthwash. Like I don't live an upscale lifestyle. Where it's like, oh my goodness, I need to use what 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 is it called? Sarah breath, whatever. I don't even like their their mouthwash. I feel like it does you no justice. It, it doesn't do anything. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't like the like the aftertaste or whatever. Me personally, if you like it to each his own, but me personally, I don't like it. I feel like Zoe is just following the hype. I've tried it like maybe like two or three times. Cannot get into it. Cannot I try the light in the dark blue. Cannot get into it. No. So I just rather just use that. Um, it's basically Listerine, just off brand in a different pack. I'm not gonna play like that. Save money, live better, hun. It, it it never gave scammer. It never gave scammer a shaker, hun never stay within your budget so yeah um but that's basically everything i have and if y'all want a night routine let me know if y'all want a morning routine let me know like i'm really trying to get into my content bag like i don't know like i feel like i have so much potential like girl getting your bag getting your bag like but all this stuff came up to a hundred dollars and fifty six cents like y'all on the head like so yeah we did good we didn't do that we didn't do that i'm putting all this stuff away tomorrow though because it's already late it's already 3 15. i started this video at like three so yeah that's everything y'all um yeah 
I'm just gonna end this video right here and just say always be the reason that people believe in good people in the world always pour out good into the world move in the image that the lord has created for you to move in move in and for you to reflect upon and you know just put out into the world and just move with a pure heart pure intentions and if you can help someone help someone and that's just in any and every aspect of life um compliment someone and just don't limit yourself never put yourself in a space where you're uncomfortable to the point where it's detrimental to your health if, if that makes sense like uncomfortable situations can help you grow as long as it's for it's done in a healthy way if that makes sense like you know un being uncomfortable does help you grow as long as it's in a healthy environment is what i'm trying to say um because you know some people are shy timid like in that sense of uncomfortable not just okay i have to endure abuse verbally verbally mentally you know whatever it may be emotionally that is not what i mean when i say uncomfortable in that sense like in a good sense so yeah you know so just always put your mental health first before any and everything that you do in life and just you know self-care is very important even if it's in the smallest thing you know taking a shower staying in bed for 30 minutes extra do what you need to do to be your best self because if you're no good for you you're if you're no good for you you're no good for anyone else point blank period and don't be anyone's fool walk away from whatever you need to walk away from friendships jobs relationships family whatever it is because people and places can be toxic um and yeah just always seek God first in everything that you do and always find your way back to him. It's okay to start over. It's okay for you to fall short. We're not perfect. When we were conceived in a womb, we were conceived sinners. Point blank period in the Bible. So, yeah, um, just keep that in mind. Thank you all for supporting. Thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you all in the very next video. This video gonna going to be kind of long. Let me know if y'all like long videos or not. But we just gonna get into it. We ball.